Tranquilo, hombre. Por favor. Calm down. I have to apologise to, we had planned to have Will, uh, Finn's brother on <clears throat> today, but uh, I forgot my laptop. I'm extremely hungover, so apologies Will. We'll do you next week though, if you're up for it still. It's just a bit of a disaster on it today, yeah, yeah. In, in those terms. But yeah, anyway, we're still going to get something yeah. out. We um, went into the we went into Jack's last night to start a, up the, the draw for the pool tournament, and Jack's is like the black, the time, it's like a time warp. Yeah. Once it goes past like one o'clock, then it, you next thing you realise it's like oh shit, it's four thirty or five o'clock. Yeah. I better go home. It like. sucks in all matter and spits you out in some other yeah. fucking plane of time. Yeah. Um. So, uh. So it's well, we're gonna start off room one hundred one. So it's, well, we're going to start off room 101. It's yeah. Jason's turn. I forgot what I did. It was a uh, 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 gullible people. Are, like, uh, I, I actually seen a, a, a ton of them this week. Yeah. And I, I, every time I see one, I want to text them. But like, ah, no, fuck it, I won't. Because <laughs> you'd be just constantly texting yeah. about it. Like. No, you can't do it. You mm. just have to enjoy the stupidity. But as I said, it was mostly about people that just get totally wrapped up in the edited storyline of reality TV shows, wasn't it? And, yeah. And just be like, oh, I can't believe when Gordon did this. It's like, no, no, that's because it didn't really happen. So. Yeah. All right, anyway, let's not go over that again. No. Um, yeah, so let's do Room 101, I guess. Yeah. Well, so basically, this one this one has been floating around a long time. I might as well get it in there. I don't know why I haven't put it in there yet. Basically, the, uh, the imperial system. Inches... Right. Miles, uh, ounces, uh, and right. degrees Fahrenheit as well, right? So all, all that stuff, basically, that our brothers over on the Big Island use. So just explain to me what we're supposed to use, because I always forget this. Are you talking about you like to use, like, stone? No, for like metric, I, uh, kilos, kilos. Kilos and centimetres, millimetres. So Americans use kilos, though? Not pounds. Do they? It's, yeah, pounds. Uh, ye, ye, the English use a lot of stone, all right, which is also. I, I remember. I know me stones. Uh, I know that's. I, a, I, what is that? Like six and a bit kilo or something. Oh, I don't know how much is in it. Yeah, I just see it. So you, <laughs> <laughs> I know me stones. How much is it? I, no, I, I don't know. That no, way. I just mean if like you tell me he's eleven stone, I'll know what he look like. Oh. Uh, <laughs> but if you tell me someone's like, but see this ninety is, kilos. This is exactly what I mean, right? Because. You, 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 I think a lot of people, like, you're using, like, 11, and then you're trying to visualise what 11, you don't actually comprehend what a stone is. You just kind of, you, you know what I mean? You, you, you kind of, I have a fair idea. No, I just comprehend what, like, 10 stone is. Yeah, but that, this is my point. Like, it, it, if, you told me such... that, if you told me that baby's one stone, I don't know what that means. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know what that It's means. such a, like, I remember being in Germany, and uh, I, as when I was an electrician, and I took out a measuring tape, and it had inches on one side of the tape and centimetres on the other side of the tape. Mm. And the German Sparky that I was working with started laughing so hard. He was like, what is this fucking bullshit? <laughs> <laughs> what, what is this witchcraft? He's like, oh, do, are you the type of person that weighs himself by rocks? <laughs> <laughs> but he's right. I, it, just, it just so happens that... It just so happens that uh, Irish measuring... Because Ireland changed from the imperial system, I think, I want to say, the 70s or 80s, I'm not sure. But, um, but obviously, you know, there's still people from those t time hanging around, so a lot of people do use, you know, four inches or whatever, you know. But, like, I just... I think, like, look... What do you prefer, then, centimetres? Metric, yeah. The, the, like, I'm not... I, I, uh, but see, I guess you don't do much measuring of stuff Not or whatever, really. right? But like, in in my old game, like construction, like it, just, like I had this argument with an American chap when we were over in America. We were building a paper machine there, and he was like, "Ah, I can't really get used to this metric thing. It's too complicated." Um, you know, inches you can divide them, and I was like, "Mate, everything's by t everything's ten, like, do you mm. know what I mean? One centimeter is ten millimeters." One meter is a hundred, or you know, it's, it's just yeah, yeah, it's yeah. all dividable by each other. It's very accurate because you can, 
they're talking about like a, 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 a thousandth of an inch and stuff like what the fuck is a thousandth of an inch yeah, that, like? to me that makes perfect sense to me when I was at school it was all about centimetres and metres yeah. and uh yeah, it, it, oh, surely that's the easiest way. It's yeah, and then, and then this the the Fahrenheit one drives me fucking do lally because I've the, never understood that. That is the mo do you know how they got like basically I, I I know and this isn't exactly what it is, but basically they took the freezing point of brine <laughs> as being one part like the freezing point of a brine solution, like why? I, and that must be because it was and the, you, baby and the higher level was body temperature, general body temperature. Like so, like how inaccurate? I I know that's not what it. Is. That's what it, how it started, right? Now it's just a scale that they use. But like, fucking the 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 our version degrees Celsius is the freezing point and the boiling point of fucking water. It doesn't get more simpler than that. So like. is that right? The, the the low point of Fahrenheit is based on something different than the height. What? Yeah, it's, it, I, I, I can't remember exactly what it is. So basically, I think it's 32 degrees is freezing point of a brine solution, right? right? So my first question is like, okay, you made a brine solution. How much salt did you put in it? Like, do you know what I mean? Like that's... If, he, if they had started with the freezing point of bog standard water, then okay, fair enough, right? It's, it's, or pure water or something. Do you know isn't what I mean? that something to do with like being at sea, maybe? Like when seawater freezes? Yeah, but what? Yeah, but like what? In what? In what? Like planet do you need to know that? Like? Well, you, when it started, people were probably thinking the, what we need to know about is when this, you know, it's going to get cold when we're on boats. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> But yeah, brine. But, but yeah, okay, fair enough. And if then if they had gone, okay, look, it, to be honest with you, if they wanted to use urine, I don't really care. But then at least use the two, like... The, common, bo the boiling point. The boiling point. The other one was yeah. like the, the... And then this is, makes it even worse, right? Because at the time it came out, I think it was... I want to say it's 99 or something, but I can't remember exactly. But... That got proven not to be the standard body temperature like a few years later. So they changed it again. So they had to change the whole fucking scale again, which was completely fucking nonsense like. Yeah. Plus, I just, I don't like Fahrenheit because when it's cold in Fahrenheit, it seems warm. It's too high. The number's yeah, too exa high. Yeah, exactly. And then, like, when, they're, like, like, when they're, like 40 degrees I, sounds I, good. I look for a lot of recipes online as well, right? And unfortunately, most of them come from America that ha still uses this fucking the donkey system. And like, basically, they're, 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 I'm always thinking, Jesus Christ, everybody in America must have a, a fucking industrial fucking oven because my, my oven goes up to about 250 degrees. It doesn't go up to like 400. And then you realize, oh, yeah, it's the fucking. The Fahrenheit, right? Mm. And then it's just like, I think we're at a point that the whole world should standardise stuff for engineering so that if you buy a bolt in America, you don't have to worry about it being fucking imperial, blah, blah, blah. It, and we have to face it, the metric system is 100% better than the imperial fine, system. It's fine. more accurate. It's easier to divide. Yeah. Actually, even um, Neil deGrasse Tyson, you know, that he's a bit of a twat, I but know, yeah. he, he, he's a big advocate for... The, the, to, to get America to change it but, but he says they're doing it slowly but he did, did a very good like basically a, a, a cube centimetre is also equal to a cube uh, milliliter right. do you know what I mean so like a, one gram equals one milliliter so it's all if, yeah, yeah, you know yeah. what I mean if, so if you say kilos to somebody but it happens to you're, you're dealing with liquid it's the same thing it doesn't matter yeah, whereas yeah. with, with uh, ounces and stuff like that it has no link back to no anything there's no it's just fucking pulling figures out of the air really if you think about it well like. i think when you first brought this up i'll tell you my my first thought was i'll just say no not doing into room 101 <laughs> like whatever they want to do you know because it doesn't yeah. affect my life whatsoever mm. when you start talking about like engineering when you're doing these kind of work yeah you know, of course no but it's it's also like look I don't, like, I don't get it. Well, like, if you say to me, I'm 1.8 1. metres or I'm 180 centimetres, I can visualise and see that. But when they start saying I'm 6 foot 12 or I'm 6 foot 7, or you're like, what does that mean? Like, I, I, but I know that's unfair because they know what it means. But I think most of the world, it's like, I think I, I'm correct in saying that it's only Canada and America that are still 
on that system. I'm not sure about Australia. I think Australia are metric as well. But maybe, and, I, 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 I mean, I'm, I'll have to jump in because I think, uh, I mean, maybe, maybe I'm weird, but I would definitely understand like six foot two easier than 180 centimetres. But that's because I think the UK... Do we Still, do something different? Yeah, you, 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 you kind of, you are. I think officially your metric. We, you're, you're still. You, you we are always talk about people metric. being like five eleven, six two. Do we? Yeah, yeah. I, I, yeah. I think a lot of the older people. I, I think it, it this does still happen in Ireland a bit, but I think because I'm fairly well travelled, especially with work related, it was just such a fucking nightmare when we used to go to the, yeah, the states. Like it's like. Because they're, they're, they're going around with their spanners that are like, we have, even our, like our wrenches and stuff like that. Like a spanner, you have them, they're like 10, 11, 12. They have like inch and one quarter, inch and one sixteenth. And you're like, what is this like? This is yeah. like voodoo magic. Like it's, yeah. it's just, and then when they try to like say, oh, but it's, uh, I think it's more accurate. It's not more accurate. Look at a fucking millimeter and look at what an inch is divided. I don't even know what an inch is divided by. Well, to me, that it's that, like a quarter, that, that like eights and stuff. It's that argument is maybe I'm missing something, but to say it's more accurate, they're both measuring systems. Why is one more accurate than the other? Well, I would. St- yeah, you know I'm I mean? sure it, there. Are, I, I know this one works. I'm and sure this one they, works. they're they're definitely both accurate. Don't get me wrong, like, but they're like one of them is just so much easier yeah, that's the to difference. comprehend. Yeah, that's like, the difference. You know what I mean? I understand that. When you start going into fractions, you 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 you've lost me. Like, it's yeah. like. Okay, if you're saying half of something or a quarter of something, fine, right? I don't need you to say 25% or whatever. But like this nonsense of going around... One and one sixteenth and all this... This is some fucking harsh shit. Like, I just... Well, I, no, I, I totally agree with you that, you know, the metric system is easier. Um, I don't understand this argument of like not changing because it's more accurate. It's, it's not. We just yeah. use, we use this one, which is going to also measure things. And You still know how big it is. You know as, what I mean? as great of a country, and I'm not shitting on America and Canada, they are great countries, don't get me wrong, they're brilliant countries, but I think they're, I think they're just holding on to it for the sake of holding on to it, and I find that a lot of, I, I love watching like, uh, lads building their own houses and stuff in America, but like, the fact that they're, like, I'm watching this guy, and I, he's building a, a bar, a, 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 a house in his, his own garden, and like, all the rules and regulations they have and whatever, which I think is good. You should build a building to a certain standard. But for a country that gets hit by tornadoes, uh, all sorts of fucking earthquakes, you know, all sorts of weather, that they're still insisting on building their houses out of fucking timber mm. just baffles me. Like, it's like... Is it cheaper? I, I would say no at this stage. Like, I would imagine timber is quite expensive. But then you also... If, like, I'm watching this guy, and now he, he, his whole house is timber, basically, right? So everything has to be about fires and, and blah, 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 and waterproofing it. Like, the man has spent about... Now, a fair play to the man. He's, he's doing it all on his own, and he's doing, a great, he's doing a cracking job for a guy that's not a tradesman. But, like, he has spent at least four to five weeks on just the, the, the skin of the house. Like, so first it was, like, the, the lats. Then he had to put ply, or uh, some sort of a plywood or OSB or whatever it's called. Then he had to put a plastic layer on it. Then he had to fucking seal every hole. Then he had to... Do you know, do you know what you don't have to do that with? Bricks. Bricks and fucking concrete. And, like, and he's from Florida where the pisses rain for half the fucking year. Yeah. And they get tornadoes and all, all sorts of fucking weather. Yeah, I mean, has he never read The Three Little Pigs? <laughs> so, <laughs> so like, but look, to send him that book. I'm, I'm not going to put t- timber houses. That's their business. Maybe it is cheaper in America and maybe there is another reason for it that I don't know. But I, I just can't get it into my head. Like... Do you know what people are very good at is starting fires by accident, like, do you know what I mean? And, like, if your house is basically a cardboard box, which it, which, which it basically yeah. is, it's going to go up in a puff of fucking smoke. Is it anything to do with the aesthetics that they just prefer? Yeah, but you, could still, you can still build a concrete building and give it a, a, a timber finish on the outside if you want. You can clad it in whatever the fuck you want. But you, the one thing you know you don't have to worry about is... If, right. if the fire comes up or if there's a fucking hurricane or whatever, that thing ain't going nowhere, like. Do you know what I mean? It'd want to be a very, very bad fucking fire, like. Yeah, I mean, why not just do that? Why not just do that? Well, basically, it was... He's a great... He's a fucking... Uh, he, he, it's a great little channel he has going there, but... And he's doing a stand-up just, but it just gets so frustrating. 
Like he, he puts it, I think they call it a... You're like week three of varnishing and you're like, you didn't yeah. have to do this. Yeah, do you know, you, you would have like, he would have banged up a concrete or a block or a concrete wall in like half the time and he all he'd have to do is at the end come and fucking paint it or pedal dash it or whatever the fuck you want to do. But what, what, what I, but anyway, that's what they do and I'm not going to, I know I won't attempt to put their houses into a room one on one. But what I did, what was frustrating me is I see him trying to measure things kind of accurately because he was putting the siding on his house which are like uh, kind of timber lats or well they're made out of cement or something but they kind of go up, but he's measuring and he's like okay i need to cut it at one uh two foot one inch and six quarters of an and you can see he's like even struggling to where where is this on my measuring tape like do you know millimeters what I mean? yeah do you know what you know just get get yourself a millimeter fucking yeah. thing and you won't have that problem all right well um yeah like i said i think my first thought was fuck it if you want to do that I'm not going to put it into room 101. You mm. keep, you know, going out in 120 degrees. Oh, well, sorry, there, there was one other thing before you do give your final verdict. The other one that is in... I This one drives me absolutely mad. It's the... When you're, like, baking... Baking is basically a science, right? You yeah. take measured ingredients and add it together. But the Americans use this thing called a cup, right? <laughs> what, what cup are you on about, like? Is it the cup that I drink my <laughs> coffee out of? I, and the other thing is, a cup can't be accurate because if you take a cup of something that's very light and a cup of something that's very dense, they're going to weigh completely differently. Mm. Now, I understand that obviously somebody has gone to the bother of figuring that out, but you know what's easier? Just get a grams weighing scale and weigh it in grams and then... I'll d- uh, that you know what I mean? Without doubt. Is it's it's so bloody ridiculous. Like, And, and points, points are... Rid- like a point is... 565 milliliters or something. Where did they pull that fucking number out of, like? Do you know what I mean? It's like, I know, I, like, they must have just, like, oh, how much can the human body piss in one go? And then they went, okay, that's one pint. Do you yeah, know what yeah. I mean? It's, it's just such a... It just And it's the same. Why I don't understand why wine bottles are, like, 700 and stuff. I, I'm, a, I'm a bit OCD that way. I like everything to be rounded off to, like, a hundred or a thousand or whatever. Well, it would, obviously it would make life easier, especially mm. for cooking, to be honest. You know? Yeah. Um, well, yeah, like, I mean, like I said... Because, the, sorry, the, the, no, the thing on. is scaling, like, when, when a lot of the times the Americans are, like, making a batch of cookies that would feed a military, right? And you want to scale it down. So when you're scaling down a recipe that's starting with something like a cup and you're like, that's one eighth of a cup. Which what? cup is that? No, I should use. Do so know? I just need an egg cup. <laughs> <laughs> a smaller cup. Yeah. So it's it's just, and you're just like, what? Just if you had said 100 grams and now I only want to make a quarter of it, I just put in 25 grams. So easy. You can do it like that. A child can do it. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Would you get rid of things like um, a pinch? Does that bother you? No, I think that's just a cooking term, really. I mean, a pinch is a pinch. Like, it's just... That that I think that when it comes down to like a pinch of something, that's like it might it might exactly to yeah. taste exactly. It's it's up to yourself if you want to put a pinch of cayenne or half a ton of cayenne pepper in it, whatever. I don't mind that. So it much. just means it needs some. But yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah all right, all yeah. right. Well, and, 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 yeah. and and like teaspoons and tablespoons. Come on, for fuck's sake! What are we going to start using to measure stuff like like a uh, half me cock? Do you know what I mean? It's like it's it just feels like. Somebody was like, I need to measure something. What will I use to, uh, what's a, oh, here's a marker. Let's use the top of the marker to measure it. You yeah, know what I mean? Right, it's yeah. just sounds so. Three scrotums of flour. Uh, yeah. And, and the problem is, especially then with uh, construction again, like when you have like a 10 millimeter bolt, and I don't know what the equivalent is in in Imperial, um, they both kind of look the same. Do you know what I mean? You, you wouldn't, you, you kind of know, but, because sometimes the treads are different, you you might know, but like half the time what was happening is because the Americans had their store for doing their part of the machine mm-hmm. and we had our store, but at one stage they, they mixed it all in together. So you'd go in to get, grab like 10, 10 millimeter bolts to bolt something onto the machine and you'd find out they were the wrong fucking size and you'd have to go back and get it. Like it's just... Yeah, it must be a nightmare. That was bad and I had a bad experience with that, but like I just think it... it we, I think the world should be... All on one measuring system. Then we're all talking the same language and there's no fucking confusion. And in my ignorant fucking way, I have decided that 
metric is much better than Imperial, so mm. I think it's time to get rid of the fucking Imperial Fair system. Enough. I mean, if we, you know, this is. I mean, this was even mentioned in Pulp Fiction, wasn't it? Remember, quarter pounder with cheese. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's been a problem for a long time. Yeah, even <laughs> I, I know most Americans. They'll never admit it, but they know the metric system is better. Yeah. Now, the one time the metric system did fuck up is France tried to bring in a metric clock. So it was, uh, it was 10, I think it was 10 hours and every minute had 100 seconds and every hour had 100 minutes. That is, you, that you is, can, so, that is so French. You can still, uh, you can actually, I might, might actually buy one for the crack. You can buy a clock that like is, uh, but like that was <laughs> stupid. Like there was no need to fuck with the time part, right? Because oh, man, yeah. everybody used it. That, see, that's. My point is, everybody in the world... Why did they do uses... that? Because they moved it up to like 100 seconds an hour or something? Yeah, well, I think the French were like, Asher, sure, look, we're metric. Why are we using this, like, divide... But, the, but the, the thing is, time is originally based off the sun moving, right? Mm. So that makes sense. So I'm okay with that. If it makes... If you're going to use a measuring system that's based on something that can be measured every time quite accurately, I don't mind, right? But Plus... That's insane because you're talking about two different forms of measurement that countries use and it's not related to each other. The French just decided to change their time to yeah. from something that everybody yeah. uses. I think it lasted, like, I can't, I, I want to say it lasted less than a year. They were like, this is fucking ridiculous. Like, do you know what I mean? Well, it was probably only about 11 months or whatever. Not yeah, because years. like you probably end up going to work for like, uh, you know, six and a quarter hour or something. I'm going to be late back off the lunch break. I'm yeah, oh, yeah. sorry, mate. I thought it was quarter past 13. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. So like, but fair play to them. They they knew they fucking did something stupid, so they pulled it. You know, they they, they didn't just go. Oh. And then oh yeah, there was one more thing that is in, also included in this is the the paper. Like, I, you might know this. Like, you know, here we have, or in most of the world, except again, I think it's America and Canada, we have like A three, A four, A three, A. You know, standard. So they have like letter. Uh, really? They have different paper? It's different paper. Man, how I found this? I found this out the fucking hard way. Eight hours, which when I was a Sparky, it was, it was 25 fucking... I was making 25 pounds a fucking hour. I spent eight hours trying to print a drawing off a printer, and I kept sending it to the printer, and the printer just was like, no, no, no. This is when I was doing the job in the States. And then I realized, like, I, I, I was like, what the fuck is going on here? And I really needed this drawn, right? And it turned out that it was, was because the printer was an American printer and it was only set up for like legal or I don't know what their A3 version is, but it's, it's, Fucking and hell. like when you hold them, they're, the thing about it is when you hold them together, they're, they're almost the same. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? They're almost the fucking same. And you're like, uh, come on guys, just admit you're wrong here. It makes more sense to have a standardised paper with the rest of the fucking world. Like. Oh, you got to love the Americans, mate. They like to do yeah. things their own way, don't they? I mean, we had, you know, we had some good sports and they were like, you know what, fuck those sports. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, don't get me started on them. But... Yeah. No, look, again, I'm not, I'm not shitting on America, but I think sometimes you just have to admit, look, those guys are actually doing it a bit better than us. It makes more sense that if all our products are the same as them, it's easier for sales, it's easier... Easier for everything. We nobody gets confused by going. What the fuck is a legal page? You save a lot of time. Yeah, exactly. It's yeah. just look, lads. Let it, me it, ask you a question. What do you think about? Do Do you feel the same way about um, England keeping the pound sterling? Nah, I, I think a country should whatever money they. I I I like. I was big into the euro before because because I used to travel a lot. It was just way easier, and we and most of our jobs were within the EU. So it was, it was sweet as a nut. You knew when you went to Italy, you, you know, they had lira before, which was fucking nuts. It was like a million lira or, you know, you were talking, you, it was the way to become an instant millionaire because a tenner was like a million. But, um, yeah. but I, I, I also respect the likes of England and Denmark and them that kept their currency because they have a bit of pride in their currency. The, the, I think it's the krona in Denmark and the pound, which I have no problem with that. I think it's fine, you know. But it's um, the same... Uh, principle in it like if you're trying to do like international trade it is for international but what I find here in China no matter if you uh, I recently helped my brother get some uh, masks on Alibaba and they all use dollars so mm. they either use if you're buying in China it's RMB or dollars so I think the world kind of uses the dollar with trade anyway 
and maybe the euro but but i don't think it's a i don't it's not for me because it's not you you can just go online very easily and hit you know and i know you can do that with everything but like when you're on a construction site you don't really have time to be farting about with oh what's an inch you know what i mean yeah, or, yeah, whereas if you're if you're thinking money you know you're going to be paying somebody you're going to do that calculation so that i think i'm I'm not. I don't think we should go down the path of having one currency the whole ro- world round. I think that that would be. Oh. I like that there's different currencies. Yeah, it's kind of fun. Yeah, it? it is. I mean, you'd never have any like coin collectors or new, exactly or numismatists. Yeah, and it, I think it's always a bit exciting when you go to another country. I I, I remember yeah. the story Richard told me. Uh, he t- when he came to China first, he taught a he taught. He thought one pound was equal to a hundred R and B or oh, something like that, story, right? Yeah. And he went to the pub one night and he like he bought a shitload of points and he thought he had only spent like eight quid, but he had spent eight eighty quid or, or it was it was a ridiculous number and he was like he he woke up one morning <laughs> and, his, and his bank account was empty and he was like, What the fuck happened? And she was, and it, everyone uh, in the pub's like, You're so generous, mate. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, Dude, shit is so cheap here. Like he thought he basically thought one pound was equal to a hundred RMB, that's what it was, yeah. <laughs> and he I think he went fuck he went baluba for a week and spent all the money he had oh, and man. couldn't figure and then somebody went <laughs> What conversion rate are you using then? And he's like, one to one to a hundred. And he's like, it's one to ten, you dickhead. <laughs> one to a hundred. He must have felt like the king of the room. He was like, oh, I'm gonna fucking go big dog here. Uh, yeah. All right, yeah, fair enough. Um, well, yeah, I, I think, like I said, I do quite like in, in, like individualism amongst mm. countries with things like you know, it's fun, you know. It yeah. Makes, yeah. Makes life a bit fun, but yeah, with the engine. All right, yeah, I'll say yeah. I'll say Thank yeah. God. Thank God. I'll say yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. especially for. People doing your line of work, it's like, yeah, it's fucking. I but I just make things easier. Because I, I was easy? a little afraid that you say, oh, it doesn't affect me like you did with the recapture thing. But it's mm. it, but this one, it mightn't affect you today, but someday I guarantee you it will definitely affect you. Like you, you know, you'll be. It, the other one again, just to quickly mention, like shoe sizes as well. Like I, I know you probably use like nine or whatever, do you? Yeah, I would say I'm a ten. I, I uh, see. I, I don't even. I think I'm a forty-four or a nine or something oh, like I that. Right? I forget why I am. Uh, that that one. I don't. I'm not saying one is better than the other, but I think we're at the stage now where we the world needs to pick one and yeah. fucking stick with it. And it doesn't matter which one. It is. And I'm gonna shit on the Chinese sellers on Tabo now a little bit as well. Like when they say, when you when they ask you and they go, "What size are you?" you go, "I'm a 44 They're like. Oh, I think you better buy a, a a forty six because the forty four is like a tight forty four. You're like, what the fuck are you talking about? Yeah. There's a standardization for a reason. You can't go. It's a small forty four. That's it's a forty four. It's forty fucking four. A tight forty four is a forty three. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's what you try to sell me. Do, do, but you know what I mean. Like <laughs> yeah. you're just like, come on. And it's the same. I I understand that they're smaller framed humans in general. So like their XL and X and is completely not the same as American and stuff. That again, I think is something we look. If if they end up all wearing small t shirts, so what, right? But at least because I, like if I buy a t shirt off Tabo, I have to buy like it has like four hundred X's in front of it. Do you know what I mean? Like, and yes, I'm big, but like I fucking it's a triple XL at home. Do you know what I mean? Like, so Maybe it's a bit emasculating to get a small t shirt. Yeah, know. that's probably what it is. But it's uh, yeah, 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 all right, fine, yeah, definitely, yeah, all right, yeah. I'll say yeah, especially with the um, you know measurements about you know, size and that kind of thing but with the regards to, you know, meters. So the imperial feet. system, yeah. Although I think till the day I die, I'll definitely be more comfortable with talking about stones. Yeah. Like 12 stone, 11 stone. How would you do? I still don't, I only really know kilograms now because mm. we've been doing, you know, this, a bit of fasting. So. Yeah. But, you know, before, if you'd have told me, even when I weigh myself, if it says like 85 kilograms, mm. you'd I'm already- like, What's that? Yeah. yeah. Then I weigh myself back no, but, in, well, I weigh myself back in England. It's like, oh, I'm 12 and a half No, stone. but the beauty about it, you even said it at the start when I said, what's the stone? You were like, I don't know. But the beauty about it is... I think it's 14 pounds. Not, not to toot my own horn, but I've lost 25 kilos so, so far, right? But I can then easily say to you, do you know the five litre bottles of water? Mm. It's five of them. Do you know what I mean? So now when you, you can go, fucking hell, if you pick up five of them, that's a lot, right? So like, y- yeah. it's easy to, like, or if I... A, so bag, easy, easy a, bag of, a bag of sugar in most countries except China. China sell it in gin, is it? So it's like a ha- it's a roughly half a kilo. But the rest of the world, a kilo of sugar or a kilo of flour, it's very easy yeah. to, you know what I mean? And you can handball it and go, oh, that's, a, that's around the, 
the, the same wage as the kilo of flour or whatever, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. So you, you kind of know, like. All right, yeah. Cool. Done. All right, so because we thought we were, we had questions lined up for Will, so we uh, needed to come up with something on a on a whim, basically. So we did, we decided that we're going to do um, we were going to do a questionnaire online, and all of a sudden, because we're both a bit hungover, uh, we decided to do the twelve questions uh, that Alcoholics Anonymous ask you to, to find out, like, do you have a problem with drink? Now, before we go into it, we will probably be laughing and joking about it. We're not laughing and joking at like alcoholism you know what i mean if anybody has a problem don't get offended by this we're just you know what i mean we're not taking the piss out of a, a, alcoholics or whatever you know, mate, the first question is how many grams of alcohol do you drink <laughs> <laughs> so anyway just to make that clear we're not like making light hearted of alcoholism or anything like that because we're both i i have a feeling i know what the answer is to this anyway but we're uh, drinking right now yeah. <laughs> Like after the night we had last night, like the last thing we should be doing is drinking now. But anyway, I think it'll, it'll spark a bit of an interesting conversation and bring up some uh, nice, uh, you know, stories maybe. Right, so, so yeah, so this Q&A is to, um, I guess, uh, you know, find out our level of problem with alcohol. <laughs> no, I don't, it doesn't give a result or anything, but I heard that if you answer any of these questions, yes, that basically you probably have a problem like, so. Really? Yeah, so I think we're. So uh, I'm a bit nervous, actually. <laughs> yeah, look, if you don't think you have, don't have a problem, then maybe you, you know, today will open your eyes. Yeah, but it's, <laughs> when it's laid out for you in black and white. Mm. All right, so question one, ready, Jason? I am. First of all, this says to help you decide whether you might have a problem with your own drinking, we've prepared these twelve questions. Mm. First one is, uh, Jason, do you drink because you have problems or to face up to stressful situations? And this is my honest answer to that, not consciously. I don't like ha- hit a problem in, work, in, in my life and go, oh, I need a drink. Mm. But I, like, maybe I, I do, look, I, I won't say that I, 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 I think I might have a problem with drink, but I don't subconsciously go out and go, you know, I had a shit day at work, I need a drink. Mm. I, that, that never happens to me. Well, I would say uh, totally the same, definitely mm. not. Mm. In fact... Well, I'll, yeah, I'll, I'll say that if I have a stressful situation or mm. if I have a problem, it, it would be the last thing I would do. Yeah, I, I might be the same because if I... Usually. I, I, find, I think what I'm going to call myself is a social drinker. I, I like the... I, I might have one at home before I go to the pub, you know, because I'm kind of building myself up to it. Mm. And I like to, you know, maybe arrive not drunk, but like maybe a bit merry and... However, I, I will. Say, I know what you're saying. You're more of like a you drink to be happier, not yeah, and just be with mates and have the crack. Like do you yeah, know like what if mean? you're getting excited about that, you drink because you get excited about like having a good night out, not yeah. because like you did. I will say, I say this. I did do this once, definitely, definitely. I am not saying I never did it, but I think the question is like, do you do it? Like, is it a regular thing that if you have a stressful situation that yeah. you need a drink? I think, I think it's yeah. The, the way the question's worded, like in the present tense, do you drink because it's like like a regular thing hmm. I know I won't go into the problem you, you know what the, you know what the problem was but I won't go into what the problem was but the, yeah. uh, the um, I remember actually having like I was like down playing pool with uh, a Chinese mate hmm. and I remember I took six cans of Asahi and I actually did this a couple of times because the problem went on over a few months hmm. and I remember thinking I even told my little brother I said I realised like the last couple of weeks I've definitely been drinking because when I've had like four cans of beer, that problem seems to go away. Yeah. It doesn't seem to be. Well, it doesn't go away, it, but you bury it somewhere inside for, for that time. I'm, like, not, yeah. I'm all of a sudden not worried about it. So yeah. I, that's the only time ever in my whole life, yeah. in 42 years of life, that I've yeah. ever done that. Like, I can't, like, I, I wouldn't, if the question was, like, have you ever done it? I, I would have to say, yes, of course, but I don't drink. I, yeah. Like, 
I it's, was, it's not common. Like I'm just saying. I was actually quite surprised when I realized that that's what I was doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, I, I, and, like, I suddenly and, realized that that's actually what I'm doing. And I can see the. I, I can understand the question because I think if you are in that situation where every time you hit a fucking road uh, speed bump mm. that you'd have to have a drink, that is dangerous territory to to be in. You know. Yeah. Normally, no way. Yeah. That'd be my yeah. last thing on my mind, but it has happened. So I do. Mm. I, I, I. It made me realize I can understand. Oh shit! I can actually see why people might use that as. The, yeah, the solution to yeah, a fucking problem, you know. Yeah. I mean? That's yeah, like you said, that's dangerous shit. Mm. Um, the other thing is, I was going to say, uh, talking about this question is, that's why I always used to. Um, I think we have a very different. Well, I'm just talking about watching movies. I always used to get annoyed at American movies because every time you see someone in a bar mm. drinking, it's always like they're sitting on their own. Yeah, yeah they've yeah, just yeah. broken up with someone, or it's mm. always in like a sad part mm. of a movie. It's almost in yeah, every but, movie. But what I will say is, from living in the states for a while, they do have a very, very different relationship with alcohol than what we do in Ireland and the UK. Well, I was like, wondering if that's the case. They're not really. They're. I'm not saying there. There. There is, of course, a huge social aspect of drinking there, but. Drinking there is still, I won't say taboo, but it's like... Frowned. Or not frowned either. It's just, it is... There, put it this way. Seen as a weakness, maybe. Some of the bars that I went into in America, they do have characters like yeah. in... You know what I mean? But whereas in Ireland and the UK, I think we are just heavily social drinkers. Yeah. We all go to meet our family in bars well, or think, whatever. Like I, I do think, of course, in the UK, you'll see like a sort of sad-looking alcoholic mm. in a pub. But... It always used to amaze me that in an American movie, anytime someone was in a bar, it was always like, or oh, every time someone fucked up, they'd always like come onto a screen with like, you know, three quarters gone bottle of whiskey. And yeah, I'm like, yeah, yeah. That's so weird to me yeah, 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 to see people doing that. Like, if I saw someone with three quarters bottle of whiskey, it was because they were like on a night out. And that's probably not yeah, better. It's probably yeah, not better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, I think in, yeah, in the British Isles or whatever, it's more like, yeah, we have a different. It, we look at drinking a bit differently. Yeah, yeah, yeah. At least as far as the movies. Yeah, yeah. As far as the movies. Uh, next question. Second question is, uh, do you drink when you get mad at other people, your friends or parents? That's quite a similar question, isn't it? No. Definitely not. No, never. Um, We're doing good. Two no's. <laughs> yeah. Do you often prefer to drink alone rather than with others? No. I... I, I, it's not that I have never drank alone, but I would definitely... When I drink, I want to be with somebody. I want to be talking with them, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, totally agree. Mm -hmm. Normally, like I said, those two beers I've had in the fridge that we had today... They're there for months, but, yeah, I, but I, I know mean, where... I've still got beers from when we did the beer video we, podcast. In fairness, we do go through a bottle of whiskey, a podcast almost, but... Uh, yeah, but I'm with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. know, that's true, that's true, that's true. And I'm off beer because I'm trying to, like, low carb a little bit. But, yeah, yeah, you're right. Now, again, to add to that, I will say one more thing. Mm -hmm. I was very worried, or I did start to get worried during uh, the full COVID. I was going to bring that up. I, I actually, for me, it was the opposite. I actually, because I had the bar and our bar was closed down for that period... I stopped drinking completely. So for me, it was a it was a lifesaver in a way, COVID. But I remember you were pounding the wine fairly hard. You were pounding the drink fairly hard, all right? Yeah, I, I just... Uh, and it, would, it, it, it crept in quite insidiously, quite yeah, slowly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I would be yeah. like, I'd be like, well, you know, you can't, I can't do this. And I'll, make, oh, I'll just have a couple of beers. And then, yeah, yeah, yeah. And that, that's weird to me to sit yeah. drinking on my own. Yeah. Know? But, you know... But I, I remember, because it... it it is drinking in general is a very dangerous territory, and I think if you're drinking at home, it can very easily lead into an issue as well. And mm. um, I even my mother, who's not a big drinker at all, I remember her telling me when she lived in Holland, she used to start having one glass of whiskey before she went to bed, and that whiskey then turned into two whiskeys, and then she went, Okay, now I need to stop yeah, yeah, yeah. because eventually that becomes half a fucking bottle, do you know what I mean? Because you your really? toler your tolerance builds up to it, like, and that first. If you're, if you're doing it for the first time, you get that nice little buzz off it and you have a nice little sleep. But if you need two and then you need three and then you need four and then, then you're... Well, I you think know, I, I, really, I really started to realise when... So, like, during that sort of three-month period when you couldn't really go out much. And I started to realise, like, you know, sometimes I'm actually going to bed and I feel like I've been out. Yeah. Like, I, you know, it was actually... It was, yeah, getting a hangover it, at home is a bit weird, like, or no, from no, drinking at no, home. No, I don't... Like, I mean, the ha I, don't, I don't really have that bad hangovers anyway, luckily, mm -hmm. but I'm talking about moving from my sofa to the bedroom. Like, oh, I, all right. I was finding it difficult to walk. Oh, to, Jesus. You yeah, know, yeah. Like, oh, right. Yeah, 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 yeah. On yeah. a couple of... A, on a yeah, few yeah, occasions yeah, yeah. during COVID, yeah. you know, like, like, literally, I'd walk... And, like, I'd wake up and I, I, I realised... 
I'd have like a bruise on my leg because I'd walked into a fucking wall just going to bed. You know, yeah, 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 yeah. It's not that far from the sofa to my bed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but yeah. that's the kind of thing you do when you've had like a big night out. Yeah. You know, yeah. I will injure myself from time to time. And I started mm. to realize, fuck me, I'm actually injuring myself and I didn't even go anywhere. So I was thinking, yeah. This is... yeah Again, yeah. it was one of those times after, similar to the problem I told you when I was, when I was drinking because I had a problem. Mm. It was just, you start to, I can see how this can happen to people. Exactly, yeah, yeah, I yeah. never I never quite well, understood alcoholism. I didn't really understand what... But know. see, I, 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 I'm a very... I think if you have that awareness, at some stage you'll go, I better fucking stop this. Do mm. you know what I mean? I think that's, that's probably the difference between like a proper alcoholic that, that maybe they don't have that like awareness that like this is a fucking issue yeah. do you know what I mean so uh, which I could easily see happening as well yeah, like, absolutely. Uh, well I remember this I don't know maybe this this might even be another question so maybe we can talk to it but mm. another another uh, red flag for me I told you I used to go down the supermarket and buy some food to cook every day yeah 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 and then one day I was in there buying food and the woman behind the counter was like why aren't you buying wine yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no I, and I was but, like oh my god once Chinese hell? people get to know you they're very um, very they're open with questions and yeah but also they, they kind of I think especially with foreigners they think oh he likes wine or whatever so you know that's his that's his thing like because I remember one day Angel's mum like lovely woman but she thought like because I love beer one day she put a can of beer in front of me at breakfast I'm yeah. like cheers well like I, you know what I mean there's they're definitely just... in general there's a di- there's definitely a different attitude towards alcohol here totally different like. I mean I'll, I'll give you an ex- let me give you an example not that this is something I regularly do but if if you see someone walking down the street in mm. the daytime in England drinking a can of lager, you start to make a few unconscious Ste- yeah, judgments yeah, 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 about yeah. that person. No, yeah, yeah. Now you know I've probably done the same thing as well. Mm. You know, but but yeah, you see that, and, and the person looking at you is thinking, you know, yeah. thinking a certain thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They 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 don't. It's really, not. It's not to say. They but don't I, have I, that, thing that hit me the first time I went to Germany because. I'm not sure. I think it's illegal to drink on the streets in Ireland. I'm not sure. I, I, they're not as they're not as sticky about it like in the states where you have to put it in a brown paper bag and all this stuff. But um, it's quite it's it's definitely frowned upon. I I think it might be illegal. I'm not sure. I can't remember. Mm. But when I went to Germany first, it's totally fine. Like drinking a a beer on the street is just like having a can of coke. You know what I mean? It's like really? no problem. And I remember sitting in a car and a Polish guy was driving. He wasn't drinking. But he, he was like, let's stop at the garage and you guys can uh, get some beers. And I'm like, is that cool? Like, he's like, he looked at me as if I was like, after asking him, like, you know, are you an alien? Like, he's yeah, like, of course it's fucking cool, man. I remember what I, I one time I had this um, terrible Polish accent. <laughs> <laughs> well, obviously, I'm, you know, in one of my classes mm. at university, the um, I remember once this. Uh, uh, what a girl who was the, you know a good student you know well, and she she came into class it was the one just after lunch at one thirty pm and sometimes the students have like you know a, a bottle of milk or whatever the hell they and this girl just came in with a can of ching now <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? I'm brilliant just, I'm just saying it's like uh, what kind of girl I was looking at her going I didn't even well I didn't even t- to be honest at that point that class was with like a, a higher year and I was having a big problem with people just not coming to class they mm. just weren't coming. She was actually one of the only few people that turned up. I, at that time, I was thinking, you're here. Fair play to you. Like, it was only a small, to wear, love. a small kind of ching down. Yeah. But I thought it was amazing that and her, nobody else, none of the other students saw, it wasn't well, an issue. It wasn't like a, just it to wasn't clarify, a weird thing. I think, I think China has, no, there are problems, of course, in China. There are problem areas, especially around work. Um, especially salespeople, I feel sorry for them. They have to constantly be drinking and, like, yeah. you know, doing these cheers with customers and their most corporate people do mo- a lot of it. But, but in general, it's it's absolutely not an issue. And I reckon it's a it's a strong advocate to 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 relax to relax the laws in in Europe and Ireland as well or uh, in England, um, because when it's not made. A big deal. People like kids here. You don't see kids like we used to call it bushing, where they're like, you know, they buy six cans down the, or they get somebody to buy six cans down the offy. You don't see that here because, and it's the same. I remember we used to get French and Spanish exchange students to the school, and we'd have like teenage discos and all this shit, right? We'd all have to get lettered before we go on the dance floor. These these dudes were just fucking blood sober, 
had an orange juice and went up dancing. Do you know, they yeah. had a way healthier relationship with it. Like, thing. And, is, and France are very, like, they, they're drinking wine when they're kids, you know, at the table with their parents and stuff. So it just proves that if you take away that whole stigma of it, I think it's better. It's, it's not the stigma. You, you take away the rebellious nature. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, like, yeah. If, if it's not rebellious to drink, then mm. kids aren't interested. Yeah, exactly. The only reason I wanted to drink was because, when I was a kid, was because you, you drummed into you that that's not allowed. If you do that, you're in trouble. And when you yeah. hear that when you're a kid, you're like, okay, that's definitely what I'm going to do. Yeah, exactly. You know? It's the same way with the, you know, the, the sort of drug laws in Amsterdam when you meet, you know, or Holland, when you meet mm. Dutch people, they're not like, you know, no. all like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Higher, everybody right? assumes that everybody's fucking stoned off their head in Holland. Nobody is. They're just like, meh. Because I might do it, you know, if it's there, I might do it. Yeah. But, then but then you you look in our countries where there's like yeah. massive rates of, you know, yeah. teenage drug use. Yeah. And it's because it's a naughty thing to do. Exactly. exactly. If it's naughty, exactly. we'll do it. You know? Well, like, look, prohibition created the mob, basically. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So it just proves when you when you start making just things... Just let people do it in their own time. Exactly. They're, I, and it's a, I even say for drugs, like, I think Portugal have a model where it's... you. I don't think it's... I'm not sure. I, I think everything's legal there, basically. Of course, it's going to bring certain problems, but what it bring just because they, if they made heroin legal tomorrow doesn't mean that I'm going to go, oh, let's go and buy a bag of heroin. Like, do you know yeah, what yeah, I mean? It's, yeah. yeah, totally. I know I'm an adult. I know the dangers of heroin. I don't want to. I, like, mm. my biggest fear is that I ever, you know, touch wood, have an accident and, and end up having to take oxy or something. I, I'm shitting myself because I know I'd be the type of person that'd be like, like it. I fucking like this. I want more. So that's why I stay away from that stuff. You know, yeah. just because it's legal doesn't mean that I'm going to take it. So. Well, I'm definitely, a, yeah, I'm definitely a big advocate of the fact that if you made, like you said, let's say if you made heroin illegal, the only, to legal. me, the only thing that would, did I say illegal? Yeah. Legal. The only thing that would do would give current heroin addicts like clean needles and yeah. stuff that isn't going to kill them. Exactly. That's exactly. It. All right. Next question. Are you starting to get low marks or are you skiving off work? Well, I, at the moment, I'm a stay-at-home dad, so no. <laughs> and to be honest, even when I was, even when I was like working as a spark or working as a, the the project manager and stuff, I've had some heavy nights. But I I might I might end up being a you know, I wouldn't say late, but like normally I like to be in the office earlier than everybody else. I might turn up when everybody else turns up. Mm-hmm. But I, I I think it was very extremely rare I missed a day because of drinking. Yeah, extremely I, rare yeah I mean yeah in, in uh, like full disclosure uh, you know, I'll, I'll be honest yes mm. I have N- not not are you skiving off work yes I have probably not gone into work mm. because maybe I had a bit of a heavy night or it got a little bit out of control mm. you know yes of course I yeah. have done that I have done well that. I, I, I I was quite disciplined with myself I used and really go although in Ireland uh, when we were uh, Thursday was normally the payday you might have a few points on Thursday, but you always, it, it, because it's in the back of your mind always, that like, oh, should I have worked tomorrow? It would literally be like, you know, you might have four, that'd be it, you go home. You like know I said, what in, mean? Ge- in general, if that's happened, it has been, a, it's been an accident. Yeah, 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 you're not doing it. It's like not you, a regular you, usually thing. Usually, you know, and it's very common text messages to hear, I'm not coming out tonight because I've got work in the morning. I mean, mm. most people I know are like that. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so, we, well, we give ourselves a... I said, of, I know, I would say no. Still like, kind of a no, isn't it? I might, might give, well... You kind of said yes. Maybe right? not a full no. I mean, it's definitely... Okay, it's okay definitely occasionally for you as well. Yeah. yeah. Um, do you... Second, ne- next question. Do you ever try to stop or drink less and fail? This is another half one for me. I would say yes, yes. and no. Yeah, yeah. I've definitely... I've definitely said I'll stop drinking. I did it this summer and I didn't yeah. drink for two months. So I've done it. I've definitely also, I've definitely in the past, I've said, oh, I'm going to, I'm not going to drink for like a couple of weeks and I have failed. Yeah, I would say yes as well. When I, especially when I had the bar, I was drinking. Uh, to be honest, I was drinking every night of the week, basically. And I did go through a period where I'm like, I have to stop this. But I did find it difficult to stop because... Working in a bar, like when you're just surrounded by drunk people and listening to their stories, oh, is a God. fucking nightmare. So like, I, I, if you're sober, it's an absolute fucking nightmare. Like, I have the highest respect for people that work in bars that can fucking stay sober. Like, yeah. it's fucking, you know what I mean? I know. I, that, I, don't, I don't think there's anything worse than a drunk person calling you when you're not drunk. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just like you can't get any oh, sense out of the person. Yeah. It's just the most infuriating yeah. fucking yeah. phone call you'll ever have. And they're only calling to say like, I love you, we're having yeah, a good yeah, time. Yeah, 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 yeah. And all I want to do is go, great, yeah. just fucking put the phone down yeah. and continue yeah, having a good yeah, time. You yeah, know? Yeah, yeah. So, um, yes and no, I suppose. Next question. Have you, have you begun to drink in the morning before school or work? No, never. I've actually never done that. Never, never, ever. To me, that... It, I, mean, I think one day I, di- I did it, but I was showing... We had a party when I was an apprentice. We had a party in Waterford in our house and everybody kind of stayed in the house and there was like bodies everywhere. And in the morning, I picked up a beer, but I did it to kind of look at me. I'm a fucking tough guy. Do you know what I mean? But I only, I literally did that to show off. That was once ever. And, I, that, and then went to school or work. Yeah, well, we were in, we were doing our bl- block release, it was called, it was the school part of the... No, oh, right. No, I didn't go, no, no, actually, no. I, I went home on the bus. No, I didn't. I, would, I can definitely so say... So, no, yeah, no, to that. I can no. definitely say I've never done yeah. that. Yeah. Um, it makes me feel sick. Oh, I, I, I don't, I can't do, I hate that. day drinking anyway. It's... Yeah. I, day drinking or like early drinking makes me feel dirty or something. Like when, when we used to go, yeah, me being, and my dad used to travel. Being drunk in the daylight is It's weird. just weird. Like and me and my dad used to go to like different places, you know, in the world working and stuff. But like my dad, like the minute I get to the airport, he's like, we got, we grab a pint. It was like a kind of a thing. And I was like, I used to do it, but it, we weren't going to work. We were just landing in a yeah. place, going to the hotel or whatever. But like. I just can't do this, like, you know, 8 a.m. fucking let's have a pint, like, you know, yeah, yeah. just because the bar was open in the airport, like. Yeah, I suppose maybe if you're, and on, not, like, maybe if you're on holiday. I mean, of course yeah. I've been drinking in the day. Of course. Yeah, but that, that, in fairness, that wasn't the question. It was no, like, yeah. All right, next question. Oh, I mean, the, the question, definitely no, I've never done that. The, uh, hmm. Do you gulp your drinks as if to satisfy a great thirst? Such a nice question. The first one, I would say, yeah. Uh, n- not so much, no, because I'm not drinking beer. I'm, I'm on wine or whiskey, so I don't. But I, 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 it was like the, my first point is probably gone within two or three minutes. Like, but I, I would say no to that. Okay. I don't do that. No, I, I actually noticed that about you. You don't drink fast at all. Like, well, not you. No, you don't drink slow, but you're not like. I think me and a few. I were, never get to the pub, order a pint, and like fucking neck it like oh I needed that I wouldn't one. neck the whole thing but like the first half of it would be gone like maybe in two sips and then the rest I'd nurse for like a couple of minutes and then I get another one but then I'm I drink fast alright I will say I definitely yeah. drink fast like but I don't think it's like to satisfy a tourist it's just like yeah. fucking what I want to get the show on the road yeah. basically do you know what I mean I'd definitely say I would say no to that okay. yeah uh, next question oh god uh, do you ever have loss of memory due to your drinking Strangely, it's only happened to me, I want to say, about three times in my life only, I think it happened. Mm. I can remember them and I hated it, so I never get to that. I, I, I know when, like I get fairly fucking drunk, don't get me wrong, but I, I know, like even last night now, I had a, one and a half bottles of wine and Rich gave me a whiskey and then I knew that was, like, that was more than enough, like I was... I, if I drank any more, I would have been. I would. I may have, Fair you know, enough. gone to that stage. Like. My answer would just be yes. Okay. Nothing else to add. Just yes. But I, I, I heard. I don't know if this is true, but I heard that once it happens, like once it happens to you quite easily. Then after that, mm. so yeah. Well, yeah. I mean, I've definitely. Done, I mean, you know, I've like injured myself a few times, and and. You know, it, it's embarrassing to say, but sometimes I don't know how that happens. So, hmm. yes, definitely I'll, that happens. Yeah. Next question: Do you avoid being honest with others about your drinking? I'm gonna have to say, I nobody's asked me, so I've never had to answer that question. No, I think it would be more like. Like, maybe you'd have had a few drinks one night and you just wouldn't mention it to people. Nah, I don't think... I are. Like, I'm very open about my drink. Uh, like, if I have points, I have points. I tell, like, if... I've never had a situation where I just went, oh, were you drinking? I, and I went, no, I wasn't. But I just like, yeah, I fucking was. Like, <laughs> I would definitely say yeah. no to that. No, yeah. no, I've ne- ne- never been dishonest. Yeah. Do you ever get into trouble when you are drinking? It's quite an open-ended yeah, question. It's a bit vague, that one, isn't it? I mean, how, what do you def- do, what, what's trouble like? I mean, I've pissed my wife off for coming home late and stuff like that. But, and, like, I'd you say know. that's trouble. 
Is that yeah? yeah then yes, I, I guess mean, yeah. De- yes. Yeah, but it, when I say trouble, like it's a bit of she's like, oh, you, you said you were going to be home at eleven, and you're home at twelve, or tar- you know whatever. Like it's, is it trouble or is it just yeah? I would say um, it's trouble for her. It's not trouble for me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I would say yeah. I mean, you know, like I have I'm, I have injured myself yeah. several times, so mm. I would call that trouble. I don't get into fights and that. Mm. But yeah, de- I mean, yeah, I've definitely okay. injured myself. Do you often get drunk when you drink, even when you do not mean to? I don't, but see, I don't get to go out that often, so I'm kind of going out with the expectation that I'm going to get drunk. Actually, it says, do you often get drunk when you... I'm not sure I would say often, but I mean... Uh, so they're saying that if you, if you the, said... If, does it happen to you that you, you said you're only going for two points and you end up, like, fucking having ten or whatever? Yeah. That, that, I mean, that, no, that, because I don't... Like I said, I, I, I don't get to go out, like... When you go out, you, you're looking to get drunk. I wouldn't say I'm looking to get drunk, but I know, like, I'm kind of going, like, I know what I'm going to drink tonight, and, you know what I mean? It, it, it ends up that I, get, like, get drunk. So, no, I would say no. Yeah, again, I, it's, it's the often bit. Because sometimes, like, if it's a Saturday night, you're going out, you know you're going to have a few drinks. So, yeah. it's not, I didn't... But it's, that, not, it's not that I didn't mean... Isn't to. that why we go and have a few points, in a way, right? I, like, well, the one that, thing that, I that, will say... Well, that's the other thing about how the UK and Ireland, I think, think about drinking. It's like, uh, getting drunk is... Is is the goal, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Like uh, when and when I say drunk, I, for me it's a certain level. I know yeah, my yeah. level, and then I want to stop or I'll, I'll yeah, slow down I, and get a soda yeah, water or a co- coffee or something. Yeah. The one thing I will say that I cannot do is my dad is very good at this. He can go for two points. You know what I mean? He's like, let's go for two points. I'm just like that doesn't that doesn't compute with me. Like no, it's like I I, I I I never put like a limit on it or whatever. I'm just and this like. I will say that I I would never like you know some people in like in Europe and stuff especially it's still kind of our right to go for a pint at lunchtime or whatever or have a beer with your lunch or a glass of wine in France and stuff. I I, I couldn't do that. To, to be me, honest I, with you, I, like. I don't even really like doing that because if I had two pints, all it would do is make me feel like a bit tired. Yeah, yeah, no, I, I'd I, just rather have yeah, nothing. Yeah, I, I I'm I'm in or I'm not in. That's the kind of way yeah. I am. Like, and 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 that's what I'm saying. Like. If I if I'm going to a lunch that I know that I have to go and do something afterwards, I'll grab a soda water or something. No, like, I'd never, I mean? I, yeah, I, I I can't. I don't think I've I don't think I've ever gone for a pint at lunchtime in my fucking life. To be honest, I did it once in London because it was kind of the thing to do, like in the middle of work. No. Yeah, but but my 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 boss was uh, a roaring alcoholic. Like he he had a bottle of whiskey in our side box. Like. Yeah, that, I, that's um, different. Yeah, he had a serious problem. He you brought me down. Need to do this question. Now. He was going on holidays, and he was had, and he was getting me to stand in for him for for like a week. He was on holidays, and he brought me down to the pub, and I had a point. And I, to be honest with you, I felt like shit. Yeah. And it was one other time when I came to China first. Foreigners were like such a fucking novelty that the, our driver's um, friend was opening a barber shop, and he wanted me to go down and uh, like cut the ribbon for them. Uh, you know, and there was a whole ceremony and blah, blah, blah. And they, of course, plowed me with Baijo. And I went back to work drunk. And I remember it being the worst experience of my life. Like, yeah, yeah, it's horrible. Like, I, I was only an apprentice and I was only, like, I was, you know, doing a bit of work. But it, it just felt so wrong. Like, I think you know even I mean? though, uh, even though I definitely, like, drink too much, like, when I, probably when I go out, mm. you know, as, as by most people's standards. Like I say, it's when I go out. The last thing I want to do is, like, drink... And then do work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. like I honestly, yeah. definitely would just not have any. No, nah, no, nah, nah. I wouldn't be interested. Nah, in nah, nah, I wouldn't nah. be interested in like, oh, let's have three pints and then go and finish work. That sounds, nah. that sounds horrendous. Oh, to me. horrible! Like you know, yeah. Like like you said, I'm either in or I'm not. Yeah, in, yeah. Basically, yeah. Uh, that's it. Oh, okay. I think they missed out a couple of questions. I, 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 I'm not sure if that's the official ones. I just pulled up the first one I found, but uh, they're they're good questions. And to be honest with yeah. you, I thought it made you think a little bit. I did think I'd be answering a lot more yeses than I did. Yeah. I'm not saying... Yeah. I I always categorise myself as like... Of, no, because I, I, I remember the real one had that question... I had said no to all of them, but the last one I, I had to say yes was... The question was, can you see yourself giving up drink and never drinking ever, ever again? And I, I had I to say, say no. no. Like, yeah. I, I couldn't. I, no, there's I, no... Like, I... 
I'm not saying that I need drink, but I really like it, and I like the yeah. I like the I like drinking with my mates and having the, having a laugh and whatever else. I could not see myself going. I'm never doing that no, again. No. Like, well, it would take away such a massive part of our lives. Of like, your life, yeah, yeah, you know. And um, but see, that's where I think while it is a, probably a decent questionnaire to weed out most people, I think the, Ireland and the UK we are. Like China, people gather in restaurants. Mm. You know, the States, they probably go to a sporting event or to each other's houses or whatever else. Ireland and England, we go... I've met me nan in the fucking pub. I've yeah. met me cousins, me friends. That's what I love about Ireland. And I'm sure it's the same in the UK. It is the same in the UK. I can go down my local and like there's there's a... It starts from 18-year-olds up to, to mm. 80-year-olds. Do you know what I mean? And I love that. Like, it's like... Yeah. You can go in and talk to Billy the Butcher or your nan or, you know, everybody. So I, I, I think you have to kind of put that into the whole game as well. Like, if it's part of your social, you know, behaviour, then, you know... is Well, I, well I, I, remember going to, like, I remember going to family do's when I was, like, a, a kid. And I just remember seeing, like, all my uncles, everyone who was an adult. Mm. You, could, you could tell they were excited about having a beer together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, and then... Uh, and then as soon as you're 18, they're fucking excited that you're involved. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know it's like, it, a, you know... They're like, oh my God, he's 18. They got a rite of passage or yeah, something. Like, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and, and it's like a big, you know, it's just a... Yeah, I mean, the, the, you know, I know, you know, social lubricant is overused, but it just so is. Yeah, you know? it is, it is, it you is. Know, I mean, you just, you open up to people, yeah. you, just, you talk about yeah. what you're really thinking, you know. Yeah. Now, if it doesn't... Now, obviously, it can go too far. Like, I'm, I don't think I'll ever be the kind of person who just... You know, wakes up on a bar floor and nah. doesn't know what they've been doing. You know, nah. but I think I, I, I'm surprised because I have known a few people. They didn't ask the question: Do you hide drink? Do you hide mm. alcohol around the house? And I have heard of people. That yeah, 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 no, but, but see, that's where like I, I have seen, and I know a lot of people. Of course, I'm not going to mention them that are in that stage, like that. They're mm. I, there's a person in Ireland. I won't won't say anything, but like she was drinking. Like, she used to hide bottles of wine in the room. Mm. And, and she used to go to bed early to have that bottle of wine so that her husband wouldn't know that she was drinking it. And so she's off drink now, thank God. But, like, that, there, I know people like that, like, that are, like, trying to hide it from their, their spouse or their, you know, partner or whatever else. Yeah. Like, so... And the other question was, I guess maybe it links into the trouble, but they didn't say, do you injure yourself when you're drunk? Because I think that's... Yeah. Because... Like I'm, I'm actually glad they didn't ask that. Well, now I'm telling you yeah. anyway, but like you know, I do. Yeah, yeah. So, and uh, I think that that is. Well, you that's. I know. I'm going to try to say this in the most compassionate way, but you are a bit clumsy. Clumsy fucker. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> so I don't. I'm not necessarily sure. Yeah, of course, it's, it's it's because of the drink. I was going to say, tell like, me a time. I don't like call you up and say, "Oh, I fell over at yeah. work today." Yeah, exactly. I don't just fall over. Yeah, it's always yeah. drink uh, because of drink. Yeah. So I'm just you know I think. I think when when you've drunk that much, that you get to that point where you're clearly not in really control of your body. Yeah, but I, I also it's not a good you're time. I, I've seen you drunk a million times, but it I think it's almost like I don't think it's because like you've lost control of your body, but I think you're so like just bad decisions. No, but you're also like kind of this bubbly fucking all over the place guy. You're bound to bounce into something at some stage. <laughs> like, do you know what I mean? It's like I don't think it's necessarily. I reckon if we if we tied you down, you'd be all right. Like it's well, not. Of course, I fucking would. No, but but you know what I mean. Like if you weren't like, you know, fucking running around like playing pool and like running over to the toilet. Like you're very energetic. You're a very energetic drunk. Like so, <laughs> if you were a bit more chill, you wouldn't. It wouldn't happen to you. Like. Well, we all know the big problem was me getting on a bicycle and going home. That yeah. was the big problem. Yeah. That was that was the main problem. Yeah. You know? yeah. Yeah. All right, good one. Yep, that was a good question. Yeah, right? maybe next week we'll try something similar to that. Like, I think that was a good one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think it makes you think. It does make it makes you think a little bit, doesn't it? But I think we. Yeah, I really think it depends where you. Uh, it really depends where you come from because yeah. there's no way you can. There's no way you can batter out of us. You know, people from the British Isles, what drinking means in our culture, our society. It's yeah, just yeah, impossible. No, no, no. If you don't, it's part of our. It's just. It's if just, you don't drink, you in, 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 immediately, instantly, whether you like it or not, you're kind of removed yeah. from what's going on. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? So. Yeah, and you can see, like he, here, China. You could say their their one is like food. Like I, I would imagine, like if you have a food problem, China is going to be a nightmare because all they're always asking you, like, did you have your dinner or you know, 
Well, I reckon in China it would be a questionnaire. It would be like, are you a vegetarian? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Answer these simple questions to find out if you're a vegetarian. A food, if you're a food addict. I think every Chinese person is a food addict, to be honest. I love it. I've asked so many students, like, um, you know, anyone here a vegetarian? Everyone looks at me like, what? what? <laughs> uh, anyone know a vegetarian? No. Nope. I only know one Chinese lady that's a vegetarian, and she did that just... Because she thought that that's how you lose weight, like, mm. that's basically, so. All right, anyway, good question yeah. there. Excellent. Question there. Yeah. Awesome. Slang war. Slang war. Slang, slang, slang wars. My favourite part of the podcast, slang wars. I, like <laughs> I, I do prefer it when I'm answering the questions, but it's yeah. still good. It's still good. So it's a uh, fourteen nine, uh, six points up for grabs. So I could take it, but based on my uh, previous experience, it's probably not going to happen. Mm. Um, this is a uh, this is from an area that's dear. I know it's dear to your heart. I also love it. It's Geordie slang. Hey, Geordie slang. The mo- one of the most comforting accents I've ever... Any time... I could never, like, imagine, like, a serial killer from fucking... From from Newcastle or Sunderland or whatever. Like, it, fucking, is a, it is a great It's accent. so... Com- like, even if a serial came in it, uh, and came in with a Geordie accent, I'd be like, ah, just do what you have to do, man. He's all right. <laughs> just like... <laughs> but, well, no, we, we, I mean, we've got a Geordie listener, haven't we? We have. We, we have. So this one... Shout out, Phil. Yeah, this one's also for Phil. I hope he appreciates Phil Taylor. I hope it's correct. So, um... I guess I'll I'll probably try and do a few of the accents. <laughs> Apologies already, but the uh... spike a groove. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, I've 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 got three ones that I thought were quite difficult. I'm going to give you an I'm going to give you one that I think is an easy one to start. I think I would have got. Okay. So it's a a diviner. I don't know. Oh, two off the bat. He's coming in swinging. <laughs> a diviner. That's a terrible accent. But yeah. So. Um, yeah, I guess the I suppose they are slang. It's more like just the way they say things, I suppose. The yeah, quality yeah, yeah. And all like that. But, um, yeah, you got that nailed that straight off. Fucking hell! I did now. I don't know. Yeah, it's like last night. I I don't play pool in general, but last night for something I got possessed by. Uh, I don't know. Is there a dead snooker player that we can mention? Alex Higgins. I I got possessed by him last night. All of a sudden, I, like the first game of killer, I was terrible. I was shocking. And then all of a sudden, I was just fucking banging in balls. You like. did nail that second game of killer. Mm. I think I won though, didn't I, in the end? Sorry, yeah, I, 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 I kind of lost the run of myself. I started trying to fucking... You were smashing in some shots yeah. there. Yeah, yeah, I remember. <laughs> I remember even Jack, Jack's an amazing pool player. So it's Finn, like, but like, even he was like going, Jesus Christ! Because <laughs> there, there, there was some coming up, you were getting him in, and I'm like, this looking good. And then there was some, com- some coming up where I was like, okay, this is a hard one. Just crack straight in. <laughs> Anyway, so, um, all right, next one is, uh, I'm clamming. I'm clamming. Sweaty? And that's the, the, this website I found has actually got the example sentences as well, so it's perfect. I don't even need to okay. think of anything, but the example is, I'm clamming, I need a stotty. Hungry. Well done, mate. Oh! Well done. Three do, you know, do you know a stotty? No. Well, it's like a big bread. Uh, I love that. Uh, Ireland and the UK, they always have regional breads. Like in Waterford, you can get a thing called a blah. It's like a bun that's like very flowery on the outside. Oh, yeah. um, we, always, we always just say balm cake. Balm cake. Yeah, every, I think every region has their own version of some sort of a bun or it's bread. It's all just like a yeah. big round fucking sandwich. Yeah, <laughs> they're all the same, basically. Maybe just a different shape. This is great, there. though. It says, example, I'm clamming, I need a stotty. Heads up, a stotty is a type of round flatbread. Used, mostly used when searching for the nearest Greg's for lunch. <laughs> Show no Greg's, that's his rolls. <laughs> yeah. But it, the, the reason I said the... Uh, Sweaty first was because like it sounded like clammy. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, so, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Well, you know it was clamming. Yeah, yeah, yeah no, I, I did, but I just thought like that. Uh, yeah. um, okay, three points. Not bad so far, mate. Fucking hell. Right, this one is in a fettle. In a fettle. In trouble. No. <sighs> Example: Are you in a fettle, pet? Bad mood. Oh, mate, you fucking nailed it. Yeah! Four fucking points. Get in there. That's probably one of the highest scores yet. 
a hundred percent it is. And to be honest with you, if I had thought about both of them a little bit longer, I could have fucking pulled it out of the bag. Yeah, I think you went a bit too quickly in on it. I did. Climbing. I did. I did. If yeah. I had a little bit of a, if I fucking can't. You didn't down. even get. I was gonna say like. No, actually, all I was gonna say was I'm climbing. <laughs> so I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, well, very, very good. Oh no, that, see, very I good. last week I was kind of going, oh, I, this has been dragging on because we have an idea of what we're going to do after Slang Wars. It's going to be like a movie thing, remember? Yeah, we were talking yeah, about yeah. that. So I was kind of excited to get it, but no. So I got four. That's I'm 13. Yeah, you were hoping it was over because you're like, I've lost this. Yeah, I was like, this is gone now. But now you're up. But the problem now is you're on 14, I'm on 13. So next week, I basically have to get you to score zero. Yeah, that's true. So I'm going to have to really pull some magic out next week. I know, like. you're going to the Democratic Republic of Congo, aren't you? <laughs> I don't know. I might have to. I don't know what I'm going to do. Let me do it. It says, in a fettle. Translation, in a foul mood. Example, are you in a fettle, pet? Use when you booked a bongos bingo and you realise that you have an essay due the next day. Do you know what bongos bingo is? <laughs> it's so funny that you mention this because I forgot I've been to one. Is it's, it like bingo? Like? It's bingo, but it's mental. That my friend's sister bought one. She said, "Let's go to this bongos bingo," and I'm like, mm, "I don't know. I don't really like bingo. So just come. It'll be fun." Basically, you go. It's a massive room with like fucking fifteen hundred people or two thousand people. And they've got some dude. It's basically bingo. You have bingo sheets. Mm. But they play like, did, did. Like between everything, mm. they'll play like a tune and everyone's getting smashed. <laughs> yeah, it's always a myth. Speaking about the drinking question here. But it's like a proper, um, I don't know, it's more like a real student night out where you see yeah. like birds will be coming in with like massive shoes and like pink lycra skirts and they're like wobbling and falling yeah. over and stuff. And it's like just a mental night. Yeah. <laughs> I was actually quite glad we went, to be honest, in the end. But, yeah. yeah, so yeah, you say... You're in a fettle because I've booked a bongos bingo and I can't go. <laughs> <laughs> right, well done. So well, ju- just while we're on the Jordies, if Phil, if you are listening, we were going to contact you. If you want to come on as a guest, we'd love to have you on as yeah, a guest. Mate. We need to leave yeah. the world here, the Jordy accent. Like, yeah, it's yeah. fucking beautiful. Yeah. All right. Okay, done. Sang Wars. So basically, I'll do it if you want, but you can, we both run it. Haven't we? Go on, yeah. yeah. Do basically, this one is uh, I'm I'm very torn on this one myself now personally, and I think you are a little bit as well. I think it was five students. Um, I'll, I'll chime yeah. in with facts, but the uh, I think it was, uh, the, the, the the gist of the story is that f- uh, a couple of students in China somewhere brought Apple to court. Mm. Because they bought iPhones and the iPhones didn't have chargers yeah. inside them. Yeah, yeah. They wanted Apple to include a charger with their mobile phone purchase mm. and take responsibility for breaking the service contract. What is it? They paid a hundred yuan to cover the litigation costs. Well, that's nothing, is it? No. Uh, um, Who paid it? Apple yeah, paid it's, it. It's a little bit confusing. Yeah, I think it basically went to nowhere. Which, to, let's be fucking honest, it shouldn't because no. From the from the point of view that they brought him to court, I think it shouldn't have even been entertained because that's what I mean. I, th- I think what they were asking was that Apple would like literally like they were asking for like a hundred yuan each or some shit to yeah to to you know to to cover the price of a yeah. charger or something yeah. Well, it's, anyway, go on. Well, so if if I take like let's say if I'm a judge or something, if that came to me, I would throw it out immediately because mm. I think it's a known fact. Apple are not like telling you that there's a charger inside it, yeah, and then all of a sudden, then all of a sudden you get it home and there's no charger. Yeah. It, it it was made very clear in the op or what you know they have these press releases when they release a new phone and stuff. It was made abundantly clear that they weren't going to. Uh, Give a charger with it, right? Yeah. No, I could be wrong in this. I think they give you the cable, but they don't give you the actual, you know, the the plug bit. I think that's. I think you. I I could be wrong in that. Now you uh, you can correct me if I'm wrong, no, people. I don't, know. I don't know. I think they still give you the cable, but they're not giving you the actual plug-in part. So basically, how, how much does the plug-in part cost? Well, no, on Apple, it's probably fucking three grand. Do you know what I mean? But, like, I am sure you can get unofficial ones and whatever else. No, I, I could be wrong. Then maybe they don't even give the cable. But regardless, anyway, I think in this situation, 
look, I don't like Apple. You know, I've I, I've turned my, my I had an Apple Mac computer. I've turned it into a Linux computer, and I, I've dropped the iPhone and you've gone show me because I just think they are the biggest bunch of wankers on the planet. I was so However, when you did that. I really thought you weren't going to do that when you said yeah, you, when you said you were going to drop all your Apple products. Mm. I was like, "All right, mate. Yeah. You're definitely not going to do." But you did do that. Everything. Yeah, I have I have a, a, a Macintosh computer, but it runs Linux. I I just thought the operating system was it, it, see I like to tinker a bit and it was like it wouldn't leave you do anything like mm. whereas with Linux you can do whatever the fuck you want. And I think if you buy a product, you should be able to do whatever the fuck you want with it. I'm a big advocate for right to repair. You know, you should be able to bring your phone down and change the battery yeah, or all that stuff. That like. All these phones, you can't get the battery out. I, it, I, but I it, actually it, realize it's that a huge the thing. There's a guy, uh, um, he's in New York. He has he has a, a iPhone repair shop, but he's a big... Uh, he, he's actually gone to like Congress and stuff about... Uh, Louis Rossman, I think is his name, about this... It, and it's not just Apple, it's all of them are doing it. There was a time when you bought iPhones that you could actually go away if the battery was starting to fail and that you could pull the back off it very, very easily and buy another battery. Or you could have three batteries. You could, uh, some of them you could even put SIM cards in it. You know, there was, there was, there was, a, there was an option to fucking like, fi you know, fix the, the so problem yeah. and easily. Mm -hmm. But now they're going out of their way to make them so, even if you bring them like, in China, it's never really that big of an issue because even if your screen cracks or whatever, you don't have to go to the official Apple shop. You will get a you you'll get some lad to fix it for you for a couple of quid, but or like repair or replace the screen. But Apple now are making it so not just Apple, Samsung are doing it. They're all doing it. Mm -hmm. They're making it so hard, even for those guys that like before they used to be able to get the schematics or the or you know parts. But they're now Apple are going. They're consciously going they're forcing to, you to have to buy a new phone basically yeah but it's but it's it's it's, it's deep like they, they're going to the people that like i can't remember that foxconn i think like make their parts or whatever and they're saying to to those companies that you can only sell this screen to us you're not allowed to sell it to anybody else like oh, really? so like you know what i mean they're they're, they're they know what they're doing yeah like. of course yeah, yeah but so like basically in a nutshell i fucking i think that's a load of wank however i think this is what the, look i understand if you're like living under a rock and you we also have to face facts. Uh, buying an iPhone is extremely expensive, right? And if you get home and fucking go, oh shit, there's no charger in this. And then you go back and you have to pay like another five or 600 RMB for a charger, mm -hmm. which I would imagine Apple is probably in, in that range, right? You're going to be pissed off. However, it was made very, very clear that there's no charger. Can I ask a question? It. Because you know I know less about mm -hmm. Apple products than you have never owned one. Can you use your old? Do you have to buy a charger? Can no, you no. You, you well, it depends what where what what. See the I think Apple changed. I think they changed the 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 plug in part, like the part that actually plugs into the phone. I think they've changed it like three times. Ah, so when a new phone comes out, you actually need a new charger. How, however, when I say that now. I'm talking about like the iPhone one, two had one, and then it was like three and four maybe had something slightly different. And now for the last something about that yeah. for their last like probably seven, eight phones, it's been the same, right? right? But the but I bet it's not working as well as it should do. Right? No, I, and that's the fucking problem with them, right? Is I've ne like I I've changed to Xiaomi, and Xiaomi has a uh, USB C. Uh, port on it and the beauty about USB-C is you can fucking go and buy one for you can buy a high quality one for 100 RMB or you can buy 10 shit ones for 5 RMB or 6 RMB each mm -hmm. it doesn't matter where you buy them they will work however if you get a, like a a knockoff Apple one it, it, it will it will fail within within about a month uh, and a, no not a month really? it will it will definitely fail within about three months it, it just doesn't it won't it won't charge anymore but what i used to do is i used to buy 10 of them and then just like that fails like bang because i just refuse to pay like i think apple was charging like 300 rmb for a cable and it's like it's a meter of fucking cable lads come on to fuck you know what i mean how many inches is that <laughs> i don't know <laughs> Could be a million, I don't know. Yeah.
Who knows? Well, but it's I, like go on. Well, I'm gonna. I mean, like I said, so I, but I, go on, sorry. with all that hate and all that hate towards Apple and whatever, I will in this instant defend him because I think it was a bit ridiculous. If I was a judge, I wouldn't even entertain it. I'd be like, no, this oh, no, this is strange. rubbish. Like, I'm sorry. Because you have a choice of what you want to buy. Yeah. It was it was made pretty clear. Like I think everybody knows that it doesn't come with a charger. It was a big talking. I don't point. think the I don't think these students were saying I, that's the that, that's the thing that annoys me. And I never thought I'd be defending Apple mm. because I don't you know I'm, yeah. I'm not really I just don't understand yeah. the big hoo ha about Apple. To be honest with you. But mm. I don't think they bought the phone and then were claiming that they didn't know it didn't have a charger. It was almost just like that they said they said. Apple are breaking the service contract because it's a necessary part of a phone. So it was almost yeah. like, you know, like a, like, you know. And, like, and, like, like, and like to be honest complete... with you, in, in Apple's defense, it, it isn't really because you don't buy a car and get a full tank of petrol. You know what I mean? So it, it's, you, you get a hole and you have to fucking put the, you know what I mean? You, yeah. you get, I saw the hole is there to plug it in. No. I they're, think if they're you're, just, they're just and, and you the, the, the Apple's handset, Apple's but. kind of idea about it is is that like most of our our buyers now have had a previous iPhone, so we feel that it's not necessary to give you a charger. No, I'll also say that about the Apple charger. The the Apple charger itself will work longer than an off brand one, but they're designed to fail as well. They well, always that, fail in the same point. Just you know you know like the plasticky bit where it meets the cable always like frays and ends up like pulling out eventually after you know maybe a year but so like well that's that planned obsolescence stuff isn't yeah it? exactly so but that's a different story that that's that we that's can go into worldwide. in a second yeah that's, but like, that's, that's but like from the point of view of what they're bringing him to court for it's ridiculous yeah. i i have to say well the, the, okay let me tell you the other thing even though i was defending apple a bit because i was the same i was like get the fuck out of here yeah. you, know, you bought a phone there was no charge in it and now you're gonna fucking try and make the company give you a fucking charge it's like it's mm. not how fucking business works mm. you know but the other thing is apple was saying that they that it's it's the it's the kind of dishonesty they say oh the reason we don't do it is because we, we care about the environment yeah but that, see that that's <laughs> where on. like if apple just on, apple. if apple just turned around and went look we're, we couldn't be arsed giving them anymore we, we all our fucking people have them or we want to fucking charge if they were honest about it i would go okay whatever that's their right to do it and then it's your right to fucking but them pulling the we're doing this for the environment gig or gag, or whatever the fuck you want to say. Is I think rid- gag is probably a, a more appropriate It word. is ridiculous, because yeah. these guys care about uh, about the environment now about it as much as I care about, you know, I don't know, fucking, so I, I can't even think, think of something, something that I don't, don't care, care about. about. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Um, it's it's absolutely ridiculous. American football. Because if you, t- okay, so what, what, okay, so they're saying that everybody has a charger, so... Uh, if we give them another one, they'll end up in the landfill. Rubbish. Because most people, even if you have the... I don't, what are they on now? iPhone 13 or 14 or something? I don't know. Even if you have a 12 or an 11 or something, that charger is probably going to break anyway. Yeah, or, it's bullshit. And there's, look, there's nobody gets a charger and go, oh, I'm going to throw that in the bin. Everybody has a couple of spare chargers around. You might put one in your nan's house just in case if you're over there or whatever. You can never have enough chargers. Yeah. You could fucking leave one in the kitchen. You can leave one in the bedroom. It, you can never have enough. So that's harsh. It. The other thing about it is if they're saying they want to make the packaging smaller to save on packaging and blah, blah, blah. Yeah. So what are you putting the charger in? Exactly. Are, you just handing, are you handing the charger over the counter to them? No, you're not. You're putting that in packaging. And then it's, it's ridiculous. Look, it's a money grab. That's fine. It's where we, the, uh, Apple is from America. It's a free country. They can do whatever they want. But don't use the bullshit that you're trying to save no. the environment because of it, because you're if, not. If, if you're building a charger that is deliberately engineered to fail, then you are not worried about the no. environment. No, and they're, they're building their phones to be unrepairable. So, so stop on that yeah. fucking nonsense. Mm. I have no problem. If, if you're open and say to you, look, we don't, we don't want to give you a charger we'll anymore because we want to make more money off you. Yeah. Then I'm fucking grand. It's like, all right, fair play. I'll buy that charger. It, it, it annoys the hell out of me. But if that's, what, if that's what they want to do, that's the right. But don't try to fucking pull the smoke and mir- mirrors thing that it's us because of the environment. Because that's harsh shit. 
Just then if it's because of the environment, they should go back to the way that it was before that you can pull the back off the phone and buy a battery off Tabo yourself and put it in yourself and use that phone for 10 years rather than yeah. going every year. So look. Well, any any major tech, like I'm saying, any major tech company that's talking about, you know, we're trying to be concerned for the environment. It, 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 it's fucking insulting. Isn't it? mm. It's actually insulting, mm. to be honest. Mm. Now, that's why I said I don't know who I'm more annoyed with because, you know, five students going into a court and trying to bring a business to, to task because they didn't get something else they wanted in yeah. it when they'd already yeah. bought it. Completely rubbish. It's completely ridiculous. Rubbish. Completely rubbish. But like I said, I'm, I'm mm. like you said, I'm very torn because also... Apple's just this like, just, or to me, just like this devil company that's yeah. just going, yeah, we're trying to look after the trees. And I got, I, the one thing I will give, Apple is expensive, right? But I, and I have like got rid of my iPhone and I've changed uh, the Mac to Linux. But to be honest with you, if tomorrow morning you gave me a big budget to go and buy another computer, I would buy an Apple. I would wipe their program off it and put it on because their hardware is fucking top class like i mean i've had windows computers and stuff like that and they always like get shitty after a year or so i have that computer for four years now and the only thing that was making it shit was the the ios the the operating system on it basically like yeah. so like I'll, I'll give them that you are paying for a, a high quality like and most unless like i i'm a bit harsh on phone so but like i did have the iphone s or the iPhone 5 special edition or whatever the fuck it was. I had that for about four or five years. I put two screens into it, but like it always worked perfect. I think I put a few batteries in it as well, but it, it and I, I'm pretty sure apart from the fact that it has a cracked screen on it. now, it still works perfect. My last iPhone 8 or something still works perfect. I just don't like their operating system and I don't like their, 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 you know, ethos. Yeah, exactly. But their product is, it is probably the best phone in the world without a shadow of a doubt, right? Mm. I currently, I'm, I have to show me and you have a... Huawei. Huawei. The great phones. This, ca this, ca this was the fucking cheapest phone I ever bought. And like, touch wood, it's still, I think I have it like seven, eight months. It was only like, it was just over a thousand RMB, which is a hundred pounds. It came with the case. It came with a screen protector. It came with a charger. It came with everything. But I'm pretty sure it will fail within yeah, of course it will. within a year. You know what I mean. But that's okay. You get what you pay for. I I, I see. I think they, this was an a, an attention grab more than anything else. I, it's like, just it's just. I mean, to me, it's just it's just kind of just being like almost naive. Mm. And the fact was that it, when you see what they were asking for, it is an attention grab because they were asking for like, you know, like a couple of hundred quai each or something. Like it was ridiculous. Yeah. You know what I mean. I mean, I guess they're only asking for a charger, so that's you know, that's all they need. But at the end of the day, it's like you're going to get to all this trouble and not just go and buy a fucking charger. And it, the, the the other thing about it is, is uh, from my understanding, is that in most countries, like uh, Apple will like almost they won't refuse to repair something, but they'll uh, they'll they'll make it so expensive that you just go, oh, fuck it, I'll buy the new one. However, in China, that's different. If you bring if you bring your phone to the i store in in china they will fix it because they know the market is different so it's not i i think apple has adapted slightly towards the chinese market so it will be very easy for apple to fix this problem is they'll just go when you they, instead of like it's not in the box they'll just go it's in they'll just give it to you right and and, and it's done it's over so it was it was totally ridiculous it, it look, I it is a bit ridiculous that they don't give it, but that's not the point. It was made abundantly clear. Mm. I'm not. I think people were even saying that I didn't read the service contract. I never did, and never will. I think it was actually stated in the service contract that it doesn't come with a charger. Of it like, was. So otherwise, they wouldn't be able to get yeah. away with it. I think I'm just. A bit, I, I I think I'm a bit annoyed by the fact that it's got to the point now where everyone's like. Apple's become almost like a human right. Yeah. And it like an iPhone's become like so mm. it's not the fact that they didn't think about going to buy another phone that does provide a charger. It's like, well, I have to have an Apple phone yeah. and you didn't provide a charger. So it's got to that point now where you'll actually go to court to say it's almost like, you know, saying you, you weren't providing me 
clean drinking water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it's, it's insane. It, it's, it's ridiculous. It's like I'm, I'm sorry to say it. I, I, I normally will jump on anybody that's doing anything towards Apple, but, but this one is it's stupid. It's, yeah. it's, look, if you're a student and you can afford an iPhone and you can't afford the extra whatever they're charging for the charger, buy a fucking local brand or buy, buy a different phone because... You know, you're it's it's complete and utter nonsense. Like it's, yeah. I'm sorry, ladies or gentlemen or whoever ye uh, are. Uh, it, sorry, you're 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 wasting everybody's time with this. Like. <laughs> yeah. And it's also it's a bit sad that they even entertain the idea. Yeah. Let them bring a lawsuit. Like I'm sure even the Apple employees in the shops are going like, look, you realize this doesn't come with a charger. Like, like I've even I've never bought an Apple one, and I know they don't have chargers. And I don't well, they don't. And this one, they used to like. Yeah, this is the first one they've done it with. Yeah, but I knew this one didn't have a charger. Yeah. Just, you know, that's what all anyone ever talked about. Oh yeah. shit, the new iPhone's got no charger. All right, let's buy one and then go to fucking court. Yeah. What a ridiculous! Yeah, yeah, yeah. What are you doing? You know. Yeah. Okay, so that's the the main news story. I don't know if yeah. that, maybe that was out in England. I don't know where they got that news story from, Panda guys. But there you go. That's what's yeah. going on these days. All right, mate. Um, should we sign out? Yeah. Good episode. Mm. I enjoyed the Alcoholics Anonymous one. Yeah. And again, I'll apologise to Will. Uh, if you are listening, we'll get you on next week, man. Yeah, sorry, no mate. That's uh, it's my bad. 100% my bad. Yeah. Uh, I, I got halfway here on the bike and realised I had forgot the laptop. And then I was like, I'm not going back. <laughs> yeah, Jason foolishly thought, well, Finn's probably got the technological know-how in his not computer to do it. Here, man, when I send you the message in my head, I was like, <laughs> this, you? this is not happening. <laughs> All right. Finn was in fairness though I, I will give you this one at least you tried to like download Zoom I, stuff. I thought I'd come in and be like how'd you, how'd you turn on the computer you, yeah <laughs> I knew that's what you think I think I bet you when he gets I was impressed when he you expects me to be lying on the sofa going oh I could have been doing that so uh, I did actually try and do it and here's, it here's me tech lad yeah. <laughs> no but I, I was impressed when I, I arrived downstairs and I seen a message yeah anyway alright well that's maybe awesome. for a, another episode but all right, mate. It's been a pleasure. Um, see you later, everyone. Yeah. Bye bye.